When you delve into Senator John Kennedy's comments about Joe Biden, a wave of public empathy washes over, particularly concerning leadership competence, political strategy, and public perception. You know, Senator Kennedy, this is a big deal that one of your Democratic colleagues, Senator Warner, is having this meeting. When Biden was asked about this, he said, oh, that's just one senator. But it sounds like a lot of senators have concerns. And I'm wondering, you work with these senators every day. Do you think their concerns were assuaged tonight? I'm not sure, Kaylee, that um, interviews like the president gave tonight matter much at this juncture. Uh, you can't make this cat walk backwards. People saw what they saw in that 90-minute debate. Uh, and I think most of them think that it's only a matter of time before President Biden stumbles again, because they understand that old age doesn't get better, it gets worse. Fairly or unfairly, I think most Americans have made up their minds. I think they have concluded that President Biden is old, that he is likely suffering from some form of neurodegenerative disease, that he's suffered from it for a while, and that the White House and many members of the media industrial complex have covered it up. And that cover-up has been toxic. In my opinion, yeah, for what it's worth, po politically, uh, I think President Biden politically is as dead as fried chicken. He can uh, quit, but he, he can be replaced. Let me just finish my thought. Or he can run and lose. You can't successfully run for president of the United States when your campaign slogan is, I'm only senile some of the time, as one commentator pointed out today. Senator John Kennedy's critique of Joe Biden's cognitive abilities and suspicions of a cover-up by the media and the White House resonates deeply. It's likely that many will agree with Kennedy's viewpoint, believing that Biden's age and potential neurodegenerative issues render him unfit for prolonged leadership. Kennedy underscores the critical need for a president to be mentally and physically capable raising serious doubts about Biden's ability to govern effectively amidst his decline. This touches on themes of authenticity, personal responsibility, and the harsh truths of aging, painting a vivid picture of the struggle between the inevitability of aging and its impact on one's capabilities. Kennedy's emphasis on confronting uncomfortable truths, practicing honest self-assessment, and promoting transparency and leadership is profoundly appreciated. His remarks ripple through the public consciousness, influencing collective psychology and political stability. The awareness of Biden's cognitive decline stirs uncertainty and distrust among voters, potentially undermining confidence in the administration's decision-making and leadership. Public reaction to Kennedy's comments is telling, with significant implications for the political landscape. Biden's narrative of cognitive decline strikes a chord with various population sectors shaping voter behavior and political discourse. This narrative can be seen as either galvanizing political support or deepening partisan divides. The focus on competence and transparency becomes crucial as perceptions of a cover-up by the media and the White House pose ethical challenges in upholding public trust and the principles of democratic governance, particularly in light of deteriorating health. In essence, Kennedy's remarks urge us to reflect on the critical need for transparency and honesty in political leadership, especially when faced with the undeniable realities of aging and its effects.